Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Monday around 1.30 p.m. New York time. We're going to go over uh, and do a special video for all members, not only for the uh, premium plan, for all members about the Euro Dorak. Uh, we do that. We're going to do that because technically we know that it's very confused for everyone what's happening to, uh, in general in the market and then the U.S. dollar. And we would like to give some uh, our thought uh, to you guys so you guys understand where we're coming from okay so let's start with it as uh, everyone know we say that the, we believe that the US dollars is in a triangle consolidation all right we believe the eurozone is in some kind of consolidation we, we are laboring as a double uh, as a triple six uh, uh, which is reflected here in this chart okay this is the euro since 1971 I don't know you you guys the charge that you guys use go that way back this is in 1971 and the euro creation was around this low right here so technically we have to look at with both sides of the of the end right here because this is when we use the the, the previous conforming currency and then this is the real euro so the real euro either way any wave why we're gonna have the same result right so in 1971 we have it as a ABCW ABCS ABCY ABCS as a triple six uh, when we are now in wave B or Z and should take higher after the new low right here in wave Z okay that's the bullish uh, euro count now if we're gonna count uh, from here this is on the weekly chart we're gonna see like is phi and then this should be one a b c two and then sh the euro should go high i want to be clear about it we have a higher bias for the euro i believe that the u.s dollar at the end of the day is gonna get weak i believe the euro is gonna get strong and that's gonna explain to you guys why guys human nation saying i mean saying we know is being in an outtrend and it's gonna be an outtrend forever that's the human nature that's how we human beings react in other words before if you take the cars that we drop in 1900 that nothing compares to the car that we have today in the 1700 we ride horses now we even have planes so it's an outtrend you cannot find that outtrend of the human nature now and those who are trained there are correction and then you as a trader need to understand where you are located and when the real trend is with that with that being say with that being say we believe that the euro dollar is, is going to go high because the euro dollar is a risk pair which goes with the human nation and goes with the human trend the u.s dollar only going to get strong when corrections within the human nation are taking place okay okay so now let's get from the weekly let's get and look this proposal wave 2 of V right here on the daily and that's what we got right here okay this is let me put it right this okay this is 2008 in 2008 it looks like we have either this is uh, 2008 and right here we got it, it three waves it's wrong label here because this is the ocean okay so what we have right here is we got W in a three way in 2008 we got S we got Y and then from here let me open it down a bit from here what we have we got a three way down but more important a three weight eye to the outside that means that that means that this move right here which is corrected in national to the downside and that's why people get confused and I'm gonna explain to you guys why people believe of course in earlier wave if you got five you should get five and see if you got a three you get a three if you got three here three here 
you should get another three here. In other words, what I say is, we got a three way here, according to me, the biggest corrections on the middle. That's always for me, it's a three. The biggest corrections on the middle equal legs, equal legs. Now, what happened is, from here to here is corrected, but from here to the downside, if we open it now and look at now, this is a three way for me. I saw the other day a charge for Elio Way International, they counting this as a five wave move. I don't see it. That's for me, it's a three way right here. Now, we, are, we can be, and when we get to the hour chart, four hour chart, I'm going to explain the details about this mess right here. For me, this mess is like this A, B, C, W, A, B, C, W, lesser degree, A, B, C, S, and then this is a three way, three way, and we should get. In other words, we should get three ways out, uh, out here. Why? We were counting as a flat. We were counting as a flat, and which is three here, three here, and then five to this outside. Now, this move right here can be counted in different ways. It can be counted like it is right here. That also can be counted, which I don't like it like, like that. We rather go with it with a three way like a, a one two one two and um, another move rate I mean I'm sorry one two three four five can be that, that that's gonna be the flat but I would rather go this way A B C W A B C C and now it goes three ways out what it is what it is is a corrective move from here to here do not have to be a five wave move it have to be corrected why because you got correction here you got three ways everywhere so technically that's why I believe is taking place we were looking also and the idea that this is remember this is on the daily chart guys on the idea that this was the end of the flat and now we're going to explain to you, remember, three scenarios what we're presenting here. The first one, a three wave move from this low to the outside. If that's the case, this is A, B, and it's going to test the trend line around 140, 20, 26, if that's the case. Now, let's go to the four hour chart. Okay, this is the four hour chart. The four hour chart, like I said the, uh, about two minutes ago, is gonna give us most insight about a short term move. This is what it is. It is, let me, let me put it on the mirror in the center here. From here, which is S, we got one, two, one, two, five wave move to the upside here. This looks like a three way. Now, if we take the proposal that this being it goes to the Teddy A or two. So possible still is a flat when possible is a still a flat when right here and wave three. This is wave four. Look at the fever level guys. Six one six eight nine five. That's, this, that's the scenario with the flat and then this is B wave 4 and we're gonna get a relatively higher print about 138.61 if that's the case then you need to adjust the count like this very simple you need to adjust the count like this when you got this stay the same the only thing is that you go and adjust this wave something like this I mean and this is wave one wave two this is three and this was a three right and I'm sorry this is three this is three way down three ways out and a flat wave four right here I remember
okay and then this is a flag here we gotta take this one away and we're gonna I don't know guys if you are, I'll let you know we're probably gonna be ending doing this live once a, a day pretty soon we're gonna do like a webinar when you guys can interact with us and we can explain this idea in live not in a recorder okay this is 3 a b c 4 a 5 wave 3 and then and then in that's the case we're gonna get a get a weight around it's gonna be something around these levels 139 140 which I say is the trend line in five weights what I like about this count like I always say is an a feeble guy which I believe in the feeble levels and then look 6815 right here exactly and right here wave 4 should be end around wave 4 should be end around the 3802 which is happening also and then that's the case we're gonna get 5 ways to the upside right here now that's the case when this tier we see of the flat alright I know that the channel only went up a little bit but well that's the way it is now another scenario is we got about five more minutes that this was way five that this was way five like it is right there and then this is one right here and then if this is one right here this can be count right here this I mean either way this move right here can be count like this this is a and a flat it's a three-way move right here we got B in a three-way move because right here it's kind of corrected but I mean either way it doesn't matter if it's both scenario because wave 4 can be this can be this is a for me it's, it's even though we have an extra wave right here if you guys notice but well it doesn't matter now and then if that's the case this is a flat we should get a move out to around 37.62 or even a little bit higher all right that's the, the scenario number two the first one is a flat to 139 140 the second scenario is the the flat when this was already with this is was is w s and this is y and then it's gonna go down it, it went down in five got a flag right here to around this area and it's gonna drop from here when we have then we have one two and then you have to look at it like this and explain to you how it works you have to look at it like this you got then from here what we're gonna get is this same move from here so technically that's the one that you gotta count in from here and then you're gonna see that you're going down to around 125 even 117 which is gonna complete way Z okay now let's go to let me see the hour this is the move from here the move from here what I see is one two I mean incomplete I think that either way minimum 137 if complete minimum 137 the higher 139 but I believe that the next 40 to 100 200 pegs in the euro is to the outside why because of the way structure is either either the big flat or is either the mood with the flat way to when way two is gonna end around 138 I know that this tier can be one two one two have to take 137.44 but I don't see it happening this move looks incomplete alright so we have to wait and see but I think the best two scenarios are the first two the third scenario is the pair of one two which I don't see happening guys let me leave it there I'll get back to you guys later on with another video thank you